can divide shapes into halves and fourths. How could you describe this circle? This circle is divided into halves. How could you describe the yellow share of the circle? You could say the yellow share is one out of two equal shares. Half of the circle is yellow. This rectangle is divided into halves. How could you describe each share of the rectangle? You could say each share is one out of two equal shares. You could also say each share is half or half of the rectangle. The shares are triangles. What could you do to check whether the two triangles are equal? You could see whether they match exactly. Two of the halves make one whole rectangle. This circle is divided into fourths or quarters. Four of the quarters make one whole circle. How could you describe the blue share of the circle? You could say the blue share is one out of four equal shares or one-fourth of the circle. One-quarter of the circle is blue. How could you describe the whole rectangle? You could say four out of four equal shares make a whole rectangle. One-fourth, or one-quarter, of the rectangle is yellow. One-fourth, or one-quarter, of the rectangle is orange. What do you notice about the green shares of the rectangle? They are half of the rectangle. Half of the rectangle is green. Does it matter that the green shares are not on the same side of the rectangle? No, because two of four equal shares of the rectangle are green. So, half of the rectangle is green. What color is half of this circle? Select your answer. You could say the orange shares are two out of four equal shares two-fourths, or two-quarters of the circle. So, half of the circle is orange. Now you know about halves and fourths of shapes.